to use AI to save time and money. Nearly two-thirds of people say they are open to using AI to help with holiday shopping. It's crunch time for holiday shoppers, and artificial intelligence is lending a helping hand. Walmart and Target recently teamed up with OpenAI to improve their shopping chatbots. And the many AI tools, including Gemini, ChatGPT, and Copilot, include features to make holiday shopping easier and cheaper. Can you help me find deals on this product? As simple as price comparisons. Absolutely, I'd be happy to help you find some deals. And helping to find that perfect gift. Hey, can you help me find a gift for my dad? Absolutely, I'd love to help. Uh, do you have any ideas about what your dad likes or maybe any hobbies or interests he has? Uh, that way I can give you some tailored suggestions. Google recently added new shopping tools built directly into their search engine. AI is going to take the grunt work out of shopping. Danielle Buckley is a Google product director. I'm going to search for kids' bikes near me. She says the AI searches 50 billion online and local listings. This is AI that's going to be doing the work for you. It's going to be taking action on your behalf and calling the stores. They call it agentic AI. And after answering some product questions, an AI agent starts calling nearby stores, asking about inventory, pricing, and sales. In six minutes, an email arrives with the search results. This one, it says they have kids' mountain bikes and also yeah. have one girl's model with 24-inch wheels, which was what we had specified exactly. specifically. The agentic AI also hunts for bargains. It'll let you set the characteristics of the product that you want, as well as a price that you're willing to pay for the product. Mm -hmm. And it'll monitor the product, so when it reaches that price, it'll send you an email uh, and let you know that you can now purchase it. Now I'm sharing maybe even more than I would have in a regular Google search. Is there a cost to me sharing that data with Google? Kelly, we're building AI to work on behalf of shoppers. So this is really a tool where the shopper is always in the driver's seat. We take user privacy very seriously. Columbia professor Dan Wong studies AI in the business landscape and says the collection of personal data is probably similar to prior shopping experiences. I don't see a major difference between uh, using AI to shop and capture one's personal preferences versus using any other personal recommendation engine that we've all been used to when it comes to e-commerce. Now, according to Google, its agentic AI services are completely free, but Buckley said it is experimenting with incorporating advertising into the experience at a later date, and that's similar to current Google searches where paid products may appear on top. Mm.